So, anyway, um, as I was saying, when I went to the Bojangles, I got the two-piece white with beans and mm -hmm, macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? There was a pretty girl waiting at the window for me. <laughs> I gave her the mm -hmm, card to pay. Mm -hmm. That took her a few minutes longer, right? And again, right, I imagine licking her or something, eating her out, right? Don't know if I did, right? But again, mm -hmm. then I pulled off like anyone else, right? But mm -hmm. when I got to the movie theater, which I went straight to as well, started eating food, I suddenly found I was missing my phone. <laughs> Both of them, which I had put in my pocket. The jacket I'm wearing here, <laughs> So again, <laughs> something a little weird happened, right? Because <laughs> again, <laughs> those were the only two places I went right? <laughs> today, today. Now, I'm thinking about waiting and seeing Wonder Woman tomorrow, unless it's an exclusive screening tonight, but I think the movie is starting this, this week, or even if it's next week, I still might be better to wait till next week, right? <laughs> <sighs> mm -hmm. But anyway, anyway, so I'm in for the evening again. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's six twenty-four p.m. and uh, all right, a little bit of a news break. This is Wolf, I think. Blitzer. Mm -hmm. So they're still dealing with the Trump campaign. In your state, it's a done deal, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, all right, the death's a little bit lower. So, right there. <laughs> oh, totally right. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. So we're close to three hundred million. I mean, three hundred thousand, right? We're fifteen billion having the virus, right? But for some reason, unlike New Zealand, we're not nipping it in the bud. <laughs> so what's the problem, Americans? Do you not recognize when you have symptoms that you need to be checked out immediately, and think you can't be infected by COVID or something? <laughs> Which is vanity, Satan's favorite sin, <laughs> to begin with. <laughs> uh huh. If you got a cold, if you got a fever, it's not necessarily the flu. But what do they mean? You might think it's the flu, but it's not. <laughs> it could be COVID. That could be a problem. That's why it could be spreading. <laughs> you don't want to admit you got COVID. <laughs> Throw that. When you got COVID, mm -hmm. I'd have been tested for it. I'm good. No, no, you are. <laughs> I'm super fine. I'm super fine. <laughs> right. <laughs> and see, I don't attend a lot of functions where it would even affect me. Mm -hmm. And not around a lot of people to begin with. So that's not my problem. Oh, no. And I'm single and I eat by myself usually and even with the wife. That would be fine, but, you know, usually you sit across from your wife. You don't stare into another man's eyes while he's waiting for his dinner, looking in the opposite direction. <laughs> kind of weird there on you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. But, let's see what's on the knees a little bit. This is Brett... Bayer, mm -hmm. they got a my pillow mm -hmm. commercial. It's like I said, if you're into that, you're into that, <laughs> right? Scheme. Oops. Well, someone's got a healthcare scheme one way or the other. <laughs> I don't know who. I don't know who. Mm -hmm. This is Ben from WSAV. Mm -hmm. Well represented. We can do it. All right, that's actually 
time, everybody. Join us uh, for News 3 at 10 on WSABCW and back here for the News 3 at 11. Have a good night. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure who the other guy is. Sorry about that. <laughs> And it is so righteous. What do you think that means? I know. Your righteousness is as filthy rags because you judge, I know. And condemn the sinner, right? Then that makes you a worse sinner than them, I know. What do you think Jesus meant when he said, The sinners enter into the heavens before you, <laughs> you religious nut boss? <laughs> Because they're not judging. You are. You. That's what Satan taught Adam and Eve and Eve anyway. To judge themselves for what they did with him. <laughs> and they judged it to death. <laughs> so they all both died with him. With him too, right? Because they both chose the path they chose with him. right? And he was not too kind to Adam. right? He was nice to Eve. <laughs> but when it was Adam's turn... <laughs> Not so nice, not so nice. <laughs> and you also want to take out your mistakes more on the male than the female, and vice versa. Now, is it Adam's fault he misdirected Eve and what, she couldn't go to the tree of life herself? Ah, no. Now, is it wrong for Adam to tell her not to eat of the tree in the middle of the garden as well? Yes and no, yes and no. If it was what they did with Satan, yeah. <laughs> but if it was to seek something else out, she told her not to even touch him. <laughs> At least she died. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think Satan showed her the serpent for? <laughs> On his body first behind the tree. <laughs> to make her look at him <laughs> and see what he was and uh, and lure her behind the tree with the bait. <laughs> the worm on the tree bitch. <laughs> the serpent in the tree in the garden. <laughs> on the tree bench. <laughs> you ain't never seen the image of the serpent coiled up in the tree bench. <laughs> well, this serpent was straight. <laughs> Not crooked, Jack. <laughs> straight. <laughs> Right. Not pointing down, pointing even, even. Near the tree branch. Near the tree branch. Maybe a little bit above it, too, to make it look like it was crawling on the tree branch. <laughs> this is all the mind of Satan, my way. <laughs> and what he's doing to trick Adam and Eve. <laughs> uh -huh. Like the Gnostics are trying to tell you the difference between how Satan looks at things and how God does, right? Mm -hmm. But you're not getting it. You're not getting it. It's neither orthodoxism that shaves you nor Gnosticism. It's understanding what both sides were trying to say to one another and why one side was wrong and one side might be right. And what you do about it, too, after you find out the truth, right? You forgive it all. Oh, no. The Gnostics and the Orthodox, right? You don't condemn them because you're just as human as them. You're doing the same mistakes in religion, right? You don't know everything, you little crazy human. <laughs> In fact, you get crazier when you start trying to judge each other for wanting to do the same things. We all want a wife or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever, right? Well, okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's what you're not supposed to do is judge him. Is judge him. Ah, <laughs> you're to forgive him. I know. Don't get involved with him then. <laughs> if you don't want to do what someone else is doing, don't do it. <laughs> then you can't be judged by it. <laughs> At all, at all. <laughs> but if you want to do something, I mean, everybody wants to do it, even in a different way, and you can all do it. <laughs> you make something a sin because something's telling you you're doing something wrong, but who's telling you that? Who told you you are naked? Who made you ashamed of it? <laughs> uh, me, you were always naked. You were always naked. Why are you suddenly ashamed of it now? <laughs> What did you do? What did you do? Jesus was asleep. I know. The tree of life was asleep. And it was walking up and down. <laughs> so, so he's in the garden in the cool of the day. 
That's funny, ain't it? UFO, I'll just say. <laughs> he could walk up and down in the garden. Perfectly in the middle of it, too, I bet. <laughs> I know. He even ascended up into the flames of a sacrifice with Samson's parents. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> into heaven in there. Mm-hmm. But you know everything. You know everything. Or Moses is showing you how not to do the law. Mm -hmm. Are these valuable laws to, for man to follow? Yeah, but you don't solve people over it. You don't murder them over it. I know. Mm -hmm. And you shouldn't covet your neighbor's stuff. Mm -hmm. That applies to everyone the same, right? But you're to share. Mm -hmm. You're not the force, right? See, if someone's being with me and they live next door to me, I'm not trying to be with them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to wait for my girlfriend, my wife, not yours. Why would she think I don't want to have sex with her? <laughs> or do? Or do. <laughs> I don't go around accusing you of wanting your girlfriend to have sex with me. <laughs> I don't go over there and tell her, you want sex with me, don't you? I know you do. Come on. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Come on over. Because <laughs> I know she probably don't. I know she probably don't. Right. <laughs> but if you're on about it all day, I don't know what'll happen then. <laughs> I'm not on about it all day. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I don't try to have sex with her. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, she don't really want to have sex with me. I don't know. Right? Right. So you would look at that. And, uh, and you don't judge it and you forgive the asshole who's thinking it too. Right? If it is bad. Right? Even if it's her bad. <laughs> and she's telling you I want to and you know I don't. Right? That's still reverse psychology. Right? On you. On you. <laughs> and if she's telling you I want to have sex with her and will come over here and have sex with me. Yes, she really wants sex with me. Yes, she really wants sex with me. But no, mm -hmm, she don't. I don't remember it, right? But what she's really doing, man, mm -hmm, is tricking herself into having sex with me because she really wants to be with you, but you ain't been with her yet. Mm -hmm. Understand that, brother? Because <laughs> you know she's been with me, right? Right. <laughs> I understand. I understand. <laughs> she's tricking herself by her own deception, ain't she? Ain't she? <laughs> Not me tricking her, or you either, you know. She's playing Sheena's game or Rose's game, ain't she, ain't she? See, it's Maria and Rose. It's Maria and Rose. Mm hmm. Who are trying to hatch a plot. Mm hmm. That's why I lost time again at the Bojangles, right? The girl was taking her time with the. Mm hmm. And it shouldn't take that long. <laughs> it shouldn't take that long. She's wanting to find out something too, right? <laughs> so I have to bargain, show her, and then leave, and then leave, pull out, and leave, right? Well, that's where we got the black out, right? <laughs> mm hmm. And I don't remember what happened, right? I'm not going to embarrass her or myself and even guess again. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to guess anymore what we did. Mm hmm. <laughs> if she wants you to know, she'll tell you, or you already know, and. Again, you blotted it out, thanks. If it was a sin, if it was a sin. There are sins and iniquities, I will remember what? No more, no more. It ain't that you're not going to still sin, it's that I won't remember them. If you think it is a sin for me to be with her. Mm -hmm. We don't remember it, or I don't remember it, and I'm not going to blame her if you interfered with my memory of her. Mm -hmm. So I do remember some people... <laughs> These 17, right? Is that enough for you? <laughs> or do you want me to remember more? Mm -hmm. Or not remember more? Mm -hmm. I don't want you ever with. I know. You want you ever with. See, see. You want to end your own miserable existence. I'm fine. Uh -huh. I don't have a problem. <laughs> 
You might even make them come up with a new diagnosis if someone is positive all the time, but hears voices. They don't have a diagnosis for that yet. <laughs> but not depressed. But not depressed. <laughs> <clears throat> you might create a new mental illness for people. Oh, no. <laughs> Especially if they're positive all the time. Right? right? <laughs> what are you going to call it? <laughs> Mm, that's up to them. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. And I don't play one on TV, you know, <laughs> even, even. But I do look into medical facts anyone can verify, and you see what I mean. I know what you mean. Now, again, I'm not really hurting today because I took the tramadol before I left, of course, right? Took my medications right here on the thing. <laughs> the uh, peanut bench. <laughs> Does it own me? Mm hmm. <laughs> But I'm showing you different things. Right over there, I got my electric guitar. I might do that a little bit tonight or tomorrow, right? Because it's a little late for the neighbors, I guess, right? Like I said, right? She's very, she's very. I can't touch them without gloves on. And I, now, you know, if she takes off the ring, though, places. nobody knows. Like with the husband. <laughs> but again, she, 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 she shouldn't, though, right? If we stop masking or if we stop distancing, this school, we're going to lose so many more people. And I know that. What does God tell you that? Mm -hmm. A. Mm -hmm. Do not tempt God above what's really going on. Mm -hmm. B. If there is a virus out there, you have to listen to what other people are saying you might need to do to avoid getting in contact with people who have it, right? Is that silly or smart? That's smart. That's smart, right? Now, what is the point, though, right? You don't know you don't have it either. You might think it's the flu. <laughs> That's what Trump and his side are saying. They think it's the flu. <laughs> it has symptoms similar to the flu. And it's not killing them all. <laughs> uh -huh. The one it's really killing are the ones not, not knocking on heaven's door anyway. <laughs> Mainly, or don't know they have an underlying health condition where they get COVID and it kills them. Boom. There they are. Dead as a doornail. <laughs> but also, the people giving it might think it's the flu. <laughs> what do you think Trump means? It has symptoms similar to the flu. Right. It's another reason it's spreading, right? People aren't thinking of it as COVID, but the flu. <laughs> and because of that, they're not social distancing, right? No, no. <laughs> They're not even telling people. Well, if you got the flu, don't go around someone until it's gone, idiot. <laughs> Quarantine yourself two weeks just in case it's COVID. That might make some sense, huh? God forbid we make any now. <laughs> Let's just all go crazy because it's a pandemic. <laughs> don't have no common sense, huh? Oh, no. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> you don't seem to. You don't seem to. <laughs> Someone don't. Someone don't. Now, even when Jesus was tempted to leave the wilderness and go up to the temple and jump off, though he was still in the wilderness, by the way, that's how Satan tips us all. Mm -hmm. Do something stupid to prove you're following God. No, no. Only way I do that is I've actually locked out my room and I don't have no choice. I huh? <laughs> Exactly, exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> then I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> Don't have nowhere to sleep for the night. And I'm going to do everything I can, including sleep in the lounge if I have to, right? <laughs> if I'm on base, right? <laughs> Damn. Right? Right. If I can't get into the room. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'm going to do everything logically on the ground. And then work my way up <laughs> to try the window ledge, which is all I remember there, right? And if even the window ledge wouldn't have worked, I would have took the lounge, right? And stayed on base in the lounge, right? 
Anything more than that, I don't recall, because obviously something happened involving being locked out of my room. <laughs> All I can say about it. <laughs> I can't prove anything beyond that. Mm -hmm. You don't know anything beyond that. Nope. <laughs> and see, again, if you look mulatto and I dated you, don't be surprised if another mulatto girl can be with me too. <laughs> Or an Asian or a Caucasian. And again, I'm dating. I'm trying to find another girlfriend, another wife. Sex or not, right? That's optional. <laughs> ah. Oh. But to judge not, at least you be judged, is the point of oh, Jesus. Not condemnation is the point. That's what you're not supposed to do. It's judge every little thing is right or wrong, whether you have premarital sex or not. As long as you're trying to love and do the person right, you're fine. I'm not fine. But if you're trying to murder someone over sex, you're condemning them and yourself for the same measure you got here by. <laughs> we all got here that way, unless you're made like Adam and Eve and Satan and Jesus. <laughs> Three of them were made without sex. <laughs> not one, by the way, not six. Three. 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 Tree of life, tree of life, good and evil, and Adam <laughs> and Eve. And Eve. So that they were divided, and Jesus and Satan were still hermaphroditic. Right. One is called the tree of life, one is the tree of life, good and evil. Figure out who and whom. And the two cherubs are who? Jesus and Satan. In Eden itself, uh -huh. guarding the way of the tree of life. Uh -huh. One is trying to give you easier access to it. One is trying to deny you total access to it. You understand? But by condemning each other, you're condemning yourself uh -huh. for wanting to do the same things. But by forgiving each other, you're forgiving yourself, even your own sins. You get it now, Sheena? To forgive is better than to condemn the mistake. Yes. So I can tell you, I forgive you. Sister, former spouse who I had sex with, who I had to wife, as the seven brothers who had the seven, one woman to wife, and then I just had you to wife, and you did not understand that. You were not ready for it, but I did not know your stance on it, so it became a mistake for us. I forgive you. Your mistake there. And your crazy religious understanding of the truth. <laughs> which is wrong. Which is wrong. Can you forgive me <laughs> and move on? Or do you want to continue a game of cat and mouse where you know I'm still looking for my wife? <laughs> the one to really love me more than you. <laughs> and not be afraid to be with me because she knows what I mean is true. It's true. You didn't know. I understand. You were taught the same thing I was taught. But like everybody else, you're condemning. Uh -huh. Instead of forgiving. Uh -huh. Jesus never said that. <laughs> Nor did the disciples said he said that. You're listening to Constantine. <laughs> Who taught you to take those judgments literally. <laughs> and you're not <laughs> supposed to. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> What part of judge not, at least you be judged, you not understand. <laughs> mm. Don't even judge it if a man's with a prostitute. So was Hosea. So was Samson. So was Judah. <laughs> judge not. Judge not. At least you be judged. Because <laughs> once you start judging, you start condemning. Once you start condemning, you start sinning worse. So the, your very existence becomes a sin to you. How do you think you got here? <laughs> but through sex, but through sex. <laughs> Even if you're going gay by now, the population is big enough, it don't matter. <laughs> Some of you can go gay. <laughs> Some of you can stay straight. <laughs> Some of you can go by. <laughs> Some of you can even be celibate if you want, but don't say you're not making a choice there when you are. <laughs> yeah. That too, that too. <laughs> It's all a decision. But you can't make someone feel something they don't. 
Nor can you make someone feel or change their mind if they don't want to, right? But you can try to work with them if they won't listen and are confused, right? Someone is confused about what is God and what is Satan, what is forgiveness and what is unforgiveness, right? And don't seem to get unforgiveness is the problem here. <laughs> Not forgiveness of the sin. <laughs> That's when you become a true saint, when you realize we're all sinners saved by grace through faith, not of works. A sinning man should must. For we are created in Christ Jesus under good works that God hath before our day that we should walk in them, but still not judge people for what they do. Oh, no. Even if we think it's wrong, we're not God to punish them. That's what well, Satan wants you to think. Oh, no. To punish the sinner for their mistakes. That's not God. <laughs> God forgives the sinner their mistakes. They even got to say nothing to God. God forgives them. <laughs> That's why he sends us rain on the just and the unjust, right? The same, right? It's nothing you're doing right or wrong <laughs> that God will ultimately condemn you for. Mm -hmm. Not even murder. Not even murder. Now, you're not supposed to rape women either. But again, I understand why I would be mad with about being raped too, right? God does too. He don't want you raping women. <laughs> Men, that can be punishable. But what's the difference? A just punishment is for what reason? You're doing something unjust to begin with, and then it becomes forced. Knocking out the girl cave men sound and dragging her back to your cave ain't love. <laughs> nope, nope. Never has been. Never has been. <laughs> Using roofies on her, Bill. <laughs> ain't love. Whether you did it or not, I don't know. <laughs> I know. But you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> it might sound good on paper, but it's a crime in reality, right? Mm -hmm. But you're not considering her emotional or psychological feelings on that. <laughs> Are you down, her? Nope. Just yours, right? <laughs> That's why it's wrong. That's why it's wrong. If you don't understand, understand now. <laughs> That's the fantasy, too. Have her do whatever you want her to do. Make her relax. And not even fucking remember. <laughs> if it's that bad, I don't want to remember, huh? <laughs> she might not want to, huh? But you do do her that she don't want to remember anyway. <laughs> or was she unwilling to do it and you started sipping her or something and then again she became a little more easier to deal with, huh? I oh, know. It is why you can't do that. Mm-hmm. You remove choice. Even Sheena, while I'm trying to do something with her, which I thought we would have progressed to the point where she was ready for sex. If I misunderstood that, sorry, right? But that's the confusion, ain't it? Right? Between me and her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What could we do? What could we do? And that's the point. You're trying to destroy by the sword, which is the word of God. <laughs> But we're not reading it all anyway. And you're trying to pretend I'm condemning you when you're the one condemning me, honey. <laughs> they know who's condemning whom. They know who would shoot whomever who would shoot whom. By now, Sheena? <laughs> I know they know. Right. I would never shoot you. <laughs> I don't even own a gun. I only took martial arts, like I said. You know? That's for real self-defense purposes. It's not just to attack people on the street you don't even know. That ain't even about you. <laughs> That's all in your fucked up understanding of the martial arts, which everything on TV is not real martial arts. <laughs> whether it's boxing, whether it's MMA. Right? That's about shit. Mm -hmm. Martial arts is about if someone attacks you, how to accurately defend yourself and get them restrained as fast as possible, even if they're trying to kill you. <laughs> Now, you're not trying to murder them back, but it could happen accidentally. I know. <laughs> Tit. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, a 2,000-pound car can run over a 200-pound disabled veteran at the time. <laughs> you do not pull in on a disabled veteran who's still in the parking lot of a barbershop. He might think you're trying to run him over and ask you, did you see him? Right. If you say yes, that's attempted murder. <laughs> 
Because he can't outrun the car when you pulled in. And the smart ass. That's what that is. That's what that is. I'm a danger to you if you're trying to run me over, judge. <laughs> and that's anybody. <laughs> then they're lying for him. <laughs> and they were cutting hair anyway when it all happened. I know they were. And everybody knows he takes karate. Everybody knows I take karate. Everybody knows I don't usually fight somebody unless there's a reason to. Well, here's the reason. When I was walking, he pulled within two feet of me. and <laughs> Almost like he was trying to hit me. And I turned around and asked him when he rolled down the window to get out of the car, did you see me? And he said, yes. So a little fight ensued because he got a smart ass attitude like uh that's not manslaughter <laughs> whether he hit me or not <laughs> he was with enough proximity that i was frightened as if he was trying to hit me with a car mm -hmm. he did not apologize for pulling in like that he said yes i saw you <laughs> which escalated the confrontation <laughs> And then I punched him one time, which he got me a little bit tipped. <laughs> I just had a better shot at his head. Because <laughs> I took karate. <laughs> but don't tell me one punch will knock someone out who doesn't have an underlying condition, which neither he nor I will be aware. Of. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I just know someone tried to run me over, and I'm trying to figure out what the hell's wrong with him, and I don't know either. I don't know either. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I hit somebody one time real hard and they walked away from it too. <laughs> that was my shipmate. That was your shipmate. <laughs> so he might have had something else wrong with one punch hurting that bad, right? He might have had an underlying brain aneurysm. That's why he's acting so erratic. I know. And pulled on it on me like he did. But I didn't know that. <laughs> At the time. <laughs> no one knows everything. <laughs> no one tries to run somebody over normally, but if they do, they got to deal with the person they tried to run over, right? <laughs> Especially if he has a physical disability, right? And it was close enough to, you know, kind of scary, right? We didn't see it all. Nobody saw it all but him and the guy. The guy. I don't even know his name, right? 